అలో లెర్నర్స్ కండిషన్ మానిటరింగ్ అండ్ మెయింటెనెన్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ కోర్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ వీడియో నెంబర్ వన్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు ప్లాంట్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ప్రజెంటెడ్ బై డాక్టర్ ఎన్ వెంకటేశ్వర్లు అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇగ్నో న్యూఢిల్లీ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిట్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ వన్ షుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఫస్ట్ వాట్ ఈస్ కండిషన్ మానిటరింగ్ అండ్ మెయింటెనెన్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ ద మిషనరీ అండ్ ఈక్విప్మెంట్ ఇన్ వర్కింగ్ కండిషన్ అండ్ ఫర్ ప్రొడక్షన్ పర్పస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద డ్యూటీ ఆఫ్ మెయింటెనెన్స్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ మీడియం ఆర్ లార్జ్ స్కేల్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ప్లాంట్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ బిగ్గర్ ఆర్గనైజ్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ మిషన్స్ ఆర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మేజర్ రిసోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ప్రాసెసెస్ అండ్ ప్లేస్ ఎ వైటల్ రోల్ ఇన్ కన్వర్టింగ్ ద ఇన్పుట్స్ ఇన్ టు డిజైర్డ్ అవుట్పుట్స్ any machinery working for production will get wear and tear for its parts these worn out parts leads to failure or breakdown of main machines and shutdowns for repair and replacement of parts any failure of these machines will cause an unpredictable loss to the manufacturing industries therefore it is worthwhile to maintain these machines in good condition so as not to fail it is the duty of plant engineering and management department to keep all the machines in good condition always by adopting and best practicing various condition monitoring and maintenance methods such as predictive maintenance preventive maintenance condition monitoring and trend analysis reliability oriented maintenance total productive maintenance etc learners after listening to this video lecture you will be able to understand the importance of maintenance define maintenance derive objectives of maintenance explain various functions of maintenance and describe planning function so these are the outcomes or you can say the objectives you are going to learn in this unit objectives of management so first of all we 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 have to understand about the objectives of maintenance management why the maintenance is required what, where the maintenance will be utilized if any industry you can see that if any industry it consists of various production shops or production departments like press shop machine shop polishing tool room or maintenance management department so the maintenance management department it will have the various objectives what are those objectives why these objectives to be fulfilled by the maintenance department so here we will uh, learn about the objectives so to maximize the uninterrupted available time of the machinery or equipment so that they can be used for the intended purpose they were procured so this is a one objective then next one to preserve the value of assets by reducing the rate of deterioration by maintaining them to work in good condition for example lubrication removing rust dust and dirt peri- periodically and supplying applying grease etc to perform the maintenance activities in the most economical way such as restoring the condition of the machine at the earliest possible time when it fails or is about to fail planning and scheduling preventive maintenance without interrupting the production schedules to update the machines or re- reconditioning the machines with adopting and practicing latest technological features and management philosophies etc first of all we uh, we have to understand definition of maintenance so a plant in industrial jargon is a place where men materials machines are brought together to convert the inputs to desired outputs through well defined processes maintenance is a desired activity looks after the smooth functioning of machines without any interruption by keeping the machines available for the production maximum extent possible this is one definition the maintenance is the activity mix of erecting and installing the machinery maintaining it good condition enhancing the useful life 
preventing the failures and restoring the condition of the machinery in case of any failures. So this is another uh, definition of a maintenance. So for any maintenance department, it has to, it is having various functions. So it erects, then it installs, and then maintaining is also, it's the function of a maintenance department. So it has to be, uh, pro, uh, the machine has to be provided in a good condition so that the production can be taken from that machine. Different states of maintenance functions. So with reference to maintenance function, the plant is usually found in any of the following states. So in the, uh, the uh, production departments, so the, the machines and equipment which will found like uh, in a various states. So one is on production. So with or without online maintenance. So here the production, the machine is producing, but it is with or without online maintenance. Sometimes the maintenance people will do the maintenance online or sometimes you can say that in the uh, timing for two, three minutes uh, time, they take rest in that time, they will uh, rectify those problem or simple minor uh, uh, repairs they can do that so that is on production then dead state some machines will be the, with a, some problem the, it will be uh, uh, kept idle without with or without undergoing any maintenance that is known as a dead state dead state production outage with or without undergoing maintenance some machines are for the production outage then some machines are under shutdown so because of major problems or because of major part to be replaced for that some machines will be shut down they will not be used for two or three days for the production purpose so then another is under emergency maintenance state some machines are under emergencies because the, that machine is very essential for the for fulfilling the production of that uh, means uh, uh, it's an order so one order came from some uh, customers so it has uh, the, uh, that uh, order to be fulfilled so this machine through uh, the, that machine is very essential so such type of machines will be uh, done under the emergency maintenance and then comes to waiting for maintenance some machines are they may not be having an importance or so their production is not important so their uh, that machines will be kept aside for the maintenance but it will wait once the crew is available some material is available then they will be repaired and it will be provided for the uh, uh, production purpose these are the various states of the maintenance function then functions of maintenance management so now you have seen that the uh, production department then machine shop uh, pro, uh, polishing there are various production shops are there so in the maintenance department what it, it is having various functions so to fulfill the needs of the production people and keep the machines in a good condition the maintenance department having various functions which are installation erection and commissioning function preventive function corrective function updating function recording function training function, spare parts management function, utilities and service function, machine life enhancement function, reconditioning function and maintenance planning function. These are the various functions of a maintenance management department. So corrective maintenance function. So what is corrective maintenance function? This is one of the core function of the maintenance. Whenever a machine fails to perform the intended work in a production department, it raises the service requisition to maintenance department. The maintenance department allot the crew for repair of the machines and restore its conditions. So uh, this is a so uh, minor repairs or you can say that some uh, uh, a small component has to be changed for example you can see that in any machinery which is uh, if it is a vehicle you can see that motorcycle for that the chain will be there for cycle also chain will be there sometimes the chain uh, may be uh, elongated because of that it gives some sound or sometimes uh, you can say that there because of not having the grease so it gives some sound so such type of small small repairs will be corrected through this corrective maintenance function 
then updating function so updating function in the sense suppose there are uh, through the machines run at full efficiency the latest technological developments will certainly matter to enhance productivity in the form of increased output ease of operation minimum wastage less time consuming etc so here what happened what updation is required nowadays you can see that computers are uh, every time every year the updated computers are coming up so similarly in the machines because of by changing some parts or some components that machine will perform efficiently effectively and uh, the operation may be ease easily can be carried out so by, so that the productivity of that machine will be enhanced so that is known as a updating function updating of the same machine with updated components updated modifications it will perform high efficiency with high efficiency so that's that's why we are calling it as a updating function the maintenance department will be insisted by the top management to update the technological features of the machinery this function is often referred to as design out maintenance which not only improves the productivity also enhances the machine life then preventive function this is another important function of maintenance department it will prepare long term or short term schedules to check each and every machine in regular intervals throughout the year the maintenance crew will carry out the inspections overall lubrications like activities along with the checking of the operating parameters so preventive maintenance is nothing but uh, preventing the machine before it fails so what some other activities has to be carried out it may be greasing lubrication or uh, some small regular checking of inspection of a machine in a regular intervals this is suppose you can see that uh, the any vehicle you have purchased and we will give the vehicle to the service for servicing so that is known as a prevention prevention of uh, failure of that vehicle so that is the preventive function if required the worn out parts will be replaced to prevent further deterioration so as not to lead to major breakdown or failures the basic objective of this function is to forestall the occurrence of the failure then another function is recording function the maintenance department has to maintain the operating and maintenance manuals machine specifications and details of its procurement installation commissioning instructions of safety repair repair history preventive maintenance history etc the time and cost details of day to day repairs and preventive maintenance activities will be recorded in the log books or registers recording system provides a good control over the activities and events records give scope for introspection of the managers and the management by which a quality in work culture can be brought out a good recording system will bring healthy atmosphere unambiguous communications smooth run of programs cordial cordial relationships and accurate information systems the recording of the maintenance jobs are usually figured by keeping track of the materials used and the labor hours expended on any one job the following are different types of records found in maintenance department regarding labor costs and equipment records then another function is training function that the maintenance department feels its responsibility to update the technology knowledge skill efficiency and effectiveness of their crew and time to time it also conducts the training classes or on the job workshops to bring the awareness in the machine operators about the cleaning and upkeeping of their machines in addition to upgrading their technical knowledge so training is very much essential in any department anywhere so in the uh, maintenance department also needs a training uh, so uh, the employee should be trained and updated skill knowledge can be 
enhanced today so that the new updated knowledge will be gained by the maintenance crew and they can perform the uh, uh, maintenance function effectively training function should consist of the following aspect updating the technology optimization techniques for effective utilization of resources grievance handling with reference to the work difficulties waste reduction cost reduction and innovations in the field and feedback so but through uh, through training process the learners the uh, means the employees will learn all these things though it they know about the how to reduce the waste how to reduce the cost and grievance handling and optimization techniques so with this the training is very essential for the maintenance crew the advantages of training function it will help maintenance crew in upgrading with the information technology for troubleshooting the performance surprising becomes easier particularly during promotions and awarding merit increments etc records of these discussions will help for future use create say enthusiasm and re relieves from fatigue then next function is spare parts management function so in the spare parts are the parts which are uh, essential for replacement and repair of various machines so spare parts management in maintenance is an important function spare parts inventory is managed by the maintenance department in coordination with ppc and uh, purchase department the aim of spare parts inventory management is to make available to maintenance the right spare part at the right place at the right time in the right quantity at the right price and at the lowest total cost to the enterprise then another is utilities and service function utilities means those aspects which supplements the production the utilities includes telephones fax machines compressed air water circulation electric power generator air conditioners lighting fire ex extinguish extinguishers and other safety measures will be under the maintenance department the department is expected to provide the service in all these aspects along with the machine servicing so this is known as a utilities and service function utilities in the sense it's not directly related to the production means they uh, it, it is a lighting it is the air pro, uh, means uh, compressed air providing and water circulation system in the industry so all these are comes under the utilities and service function then machine life enhancement fu function so through proper maintenance the machine life can be increased for this they needs the cooperation between the production department and maintenance department so the maintenance crew perform simple activities such as removal of rust cleaning lubricating applying grease etc in continual way to enhance the machine life and productivity of the machine will be increased learners the next maintenance function is installation erection and commissioning function this function of maintenance is one time activity that is at the beginning of the establishment of the organization or whenever new machines and equipments are procured once the erection installation and commissioning is over this function will be ended so this is known as a installation commissioning function recording function as the machines grow old they tend to create lot of problems due to wear out or some parts and components hence maintenance manager will think of renovating or reconditioning of old machines in this function the old machines and its base or basic parts will remain same but few worn out parts or components will be replaced thus the machine condition will be restored planning function planning function is planning function in maintenance is the determination of a course of action to achieve predetermined goals or formulating the expectations between available resources and required results in other words it is deciding in 
advance what is to be done planning involves in selection of mission and objectives and the approaches and actions to achieve them planning bridges the gap from where we are to where we want to go planning is the most important aspect of sound maintenance management planning is the process by which elements required to perform a task are determined in advance of the job start time the principal objectives of planning includes minimizing the idle time of the workforce maximizing the efficient use of machines men and materials and maintaining the machines at a level that is responsive to the need of production in terms of quality effective planning contributes significantly to the following improved utilization of the machines and maintenance workforce by reducing delays and interruptions improved quality of maintenance work by adopting the best methods and procedures and assigning the most skilled workers for the job and reduced maintenance costs recurring or repetitive maintenance activities these are to be planned for entire year however the preventive maintenance can be planned in long range based on a distinct predetermined time intervals or failure frequency or machine health conditions the other maintenance activities such as repairs and replacement cannot be easily scheduled preventive preventive and planned maintenance activities we know that prevention is better than cure the following are very simple maintenance activities that can be effectively planned which are lubrication inspection and overhaul then corrective maintenance activities the corrective maintenance includes repetitive and regular work that can be planned on a rolling plan or short range plans which are repairs replacements attention to breakdowns component reconditioning manufacture of spares so repairs means whenever the machine fails any small repairs are there which can be uh, corrected then and there only then some replacements Re what are the replacement some components or some uh, parts which will be uh, worn out or sometimes which because of that parts the machine may not be functioning its intended function then that parts will be replaced total a new part will be uh, replaced then attention to breakdowns so uh, some breakdowns how which type of breakdown is occurring in that machine so data recording data is very essential then component reconditioning sometimes not total machine is good but some components needs a conditioning so means the calibration so uh, 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 the maintenance department has to check its function by taking that total component to the maintenance department and replacing with new one and those component can be uh, re uh, repaired and then it can be replaced that is component reconditioning then manufacture of spares so spares are very, very essential so that spares inventory one has to maintain so either those spares can be manufactured in the industry itself or it can be uh, outsourced from the suppliers so these are the corrective maintenance activities then steps in planning of maintenance activities forecasting or anticipation of maintenance work visualization of the nature and details of that work determination of best method to perform the work arranging for required materials allocation of work to skilled workers following up and performance evaluation these are the various steps uh, the maintenance uh, department has to perform through better planning planning and scheduling maintenance activities the tools of good maintenance are planning scheduling cost accounting it has the basic responsibility for establishing job priorities for ensuring the necessary tools and materials are available for preparing and issuing written schedules of jobs to be done an essential part of planning and scheduling is to forecast future work and to balance the workload between different categories 
the maintenance management system should aim to achieve over 90% of the maintenance work planned and scheduled in order to reap the benefits of planning and scheduling. Effective planning and scheduling requires cons consideration of the following activities. The operational and structural complexity of a large industrial plant, the dynamic nature of relationship between production and maintenance, and the relationship between maintenance strategy, maintenance workload, and resource availability. Conclusions Learners, I hope you understood what is maintenance, definition of maintenance, importance of maintenance, objectives of maintenance, functions of maintenance. So these are the various maintenance activities. So maintenance is very much essential in any industry to keep up the machines in a condition and make available for the production department. So it, it has various functions and those functions has to be performed effectively so that then, on, then only the production department will produce the products accordingly. So that is the importance of maintenance department in any industry. Thank you.